Hi, I'm Kevin Garcia here with Dream Productions TV, and I have a very special guest with me today. It's actually my father, Alex Garcia. It's uh, great to have you on, Dad. Thanks for having me. Yeah, um, really quick, I wanted to talk to you about your experience in Operation Desert Storm, actually, and sort of how you got involved with that sort of process. Um, well, um, as a young child, being in high school, as a sophomore in, in high school, um, I decided that one of the things I wanted to do was become a Marine. And I was driven to do it. Um, and I just, uh, I went with it, told my parents, this is what I want to do. I initially joined when I was 17, had to get my parents to sign for me. Um, eventually went to boot camp, went off to school, and then eventually um, got deployed uh, in Operation uh, Desert Shield, which was first, and then it turned into Desert Storm. Um, it was, uh, for me, something that I knew could happen, joining the military, uh, but my, not for my parents. I'm the baby of eight. It was a little hard for my parents uh, seeing their baby go off to war. Um, but it was, uh, it was quite an experience. Um, it was uh, kind of hard just to, you know, gather yourself there because we were always moving. So we were, we were a uh, direct support group. So we were always moving rapidly, set up site. You know, we would uh, dish out fuel or water and, you know, erect certain types, types of, uh, of bridges or something, things like that, that we had to cross over, you know, moats and stuff like that. Um, but uh, um, we eventually ended up in Kuwait. Um, and uh, our, our goal was to liberate Kuwait from Iraq. And uh, we, we uh, accomplished our goals. And... Uh, ended up making it back home. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. Uh, could you tell me maybe a little bit about your experience in boot camp and how that was? It was pretty awesome. <laughs> truly enjoyed, I truly enjoyed boot camp. Uh, I knew it was all part of the training. Um, I, I, uh, I, I thrived on that. I thrived on the physical part of, part of it. Um, the training, uh, it, 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 we did, we did, uh, Quite, quite, a, quite a bit of, you know, things that a lot of other branches don't do in boot camp. Our, our boot camp is three months long, um, and we get to learn a lot during that time. And, but I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, and, you know, um, eventually became a squad leader in boot camp, got meritoriously promoted in boot camp, had the highest physical fitness test score in boot camp for my platoon, which was pretty cool. Um, but uh, one regret I have, uh, that I'll probably take to my grave is not having my uh, my mom there to see that. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, and my now wife, who was who was then my girlfriend, which yeah. is kind of funny. <laughs> Your mom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> do you want to maybe expand on that a little bit, having to say goodbye to you know loved ones when you were getting deployed? Uh, that was pretty tough. Um, so I was actually home on leave uh, for Thanksgiving, and uh, we had Thanksgiving dinner the night before. Um, our CO uh, kept telling us that we definitely were going to be getting deployed. We're, it was going to happen. It was going to happen. Um, after Thanksgiving, the day after, I went over to my girlfriend's house, now wife, <laughs> <laughs> um, and we were just, you know, at her house just hanging out. And the phone rang, and um, she she ran up to get the phone. You guys wouldn't know this because the phone had an actual yeah. line on it. So, <laughs> so so she went and answered the she went and answered the phone. As soon as she answered the phone, she said, "She's like, hello," and she's like, "Oh yeah." And she goes, "Hold on," and she put the phone down and she came over by me. I didn't even look at her, and she's like, "Alex, it's your sister," and I couldn't look at her because I knew what was coming. So she took off. I went to the phone. I picked up the phone. It was my sister, Yolanda, my, the baby sister. And she said, she's the only one in the family who calls me Al. Mm -hmm. And she said, Al, your gunnery sergeant called. You guys just got activated. Wow. And uh, 
that's how that went down. Yeah, that's that's really incredible. Yeah. Um, I can tell you for one thing, I know I am very happy that you made it back <laughs> safely, and I'm sure I share that sentiment with all of your family. Yeah. Um, but I think that's all the time we have for right now. Um, hopefully we have you back on at some other point. Yes. Uh, I've been Kevin Garcia, and this is Dream Productions TV.